click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so today we are going to study a new property that is a time reversal property in discrete time Fourier transform. What do you mean by time reversal? Simply nothing but the mirror image. If you are going to find out the mirror image of x of n, then what will be the effect of this mirror image? but in discrete time Fourier transform. So let's see the first of all statement and then we'll move on to solution that is a proof. So a time reversal property. If the discrete time Fourier transform x of n is represented by x of omega, then x of minus n that is a mirror image of x of n sequence in dft or after calculating dtft the result is represented by x of minus omega so this statement that we are going to prove so let's see what will be the solution so we will use the definition of a dtft a dtft of any discrete sequence x of n is represented by x of omega and the definition is now we want to calculate the time reversal property means i want to check the mirror image effect on or in dtft so we'll replace this x of n by x of minus n So my input is changed to x of minus n. Now we cannot apply a DTFT formula or definition on this equation because what we want a pure form of x of n. We don't want any sign, any constant which is multiplied or divided with a or any constant value which is added or subtracted from n. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace or I'm going to substitute minus n by some different variable. So let's say minus n is equals to m so this minus n is replaced by m but what about these two n so what about these two n i'll multiply minus sign on both the sides so what you will get my n value is minus m now i'm going to substitute both this value in my this equation this n is replaced by minus m this minus n replaced by m and this minus n or simply you can say this n is replaced by minus m and this minus minus will change the sign which will be now plus now look at it in limits if i multiply minus sign on both the sides then minus minus become plus but this minus will change to plus so we'll have plus infinity but in upper limit we'll have a minus infinity limit so only thing is this limit changed its place like the upper limit will be now my lower and lower level bit my, my upper now look at it e to the power minus j omega m we want so what I'm going to do, I'll take a minus sign common in this part. Now, so what I've done, I have taken a minus sign common but from omega. So that's why this omega is carrying a minus sign. Now, suppose if I consider this minus omega is nothing but my omega, then this whole definition or this whole equation will act as a definition of DTFT, that is discrete time Fourier transform. So we directly write here x of omega but remember we have considered my omega is nothing but or you can say minus omega is omega so we are going to resubstitute this value so my omega is considered or my o minus omega is replaced by omega so we have to again resubstitute that value so omega is now replaced by minus omega so dtft of minus n is x of minus omega means if 
we take or if we apply a time reversal property or if we take the mirror image of input sequence that same effect you can see but in discrete domain or you can say discrete time Fourier transform now this is all about a time reversal property now we will study a new property but in next video but for that stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further and more videos thank you so much